Now, Martin Amis, one of the most celebrated British novelists of his generation, has died at the age of 73 of esophageal cancer. He wrote 14 novels, several non-fiction books as well, and is widely considered to be one of the most influential writers of the 1980s and 90s. Our arts correspondent, David Silito, has been looking back at his life. In distant, everything hated everything else. <laughs> and everything else, in return, hated everything back. Martin Amis, reading from his 2012 novel, Lyle Lasbo, State of England, a pitch-black comedy about the darker side of Britain. Trademark Amos. Money, London Fields, Yellow Dog, much of his best work was set in London. Little signposts of the changing and, in his opinion, declining state of our nation. The son of another famous author, Kingsley Amos, the connection was at times both help and a hindrance. But the quality of his writing soon established him as a literary star in his own right. A generation that included Salman Rushdie, who paid tribute to a unique and instantly recognisable literary voice. His willingness to take on the big topics and talk at length sometimes got him into trouble. But if September the 11th had to happen... Especially after his 9-11 book, The Second Plane. But while his subject matter was often dark, beautifully written black jokes, old age, he said, had changed him. You begin to, to value life as much as you did when you were a child. And if this is second childhood, then it's good fun. Um, you have a kind of leave-taking poignancy about you. Not, and not anger, and not certainly not uh, reactionary anger. I don't want to turn the clock back. That's the idlest kind of inquiry. Um, I want to see what's there and see what comedy is there in it. The novelist Martin Amos, who's died at the age of 73.